All right, so something weird happened this morning. We show up to the shop and there's all these golf balls basically scattered across our whole parking lot. So we check the security cameras and this is what we see. We don't know who this guy is. And also like, I can't tell if he was like trying to be funny or trying to be a dick. It kind of seems like he had like a vendetta against us. Yeah, don't seemed, you, like it seemed it, like he it, was- It did seem malicious. Yeah. Like it didn't seem like it was a little joke cause then he just left and there's quite a bit of golf balls here. I'm just glad he didn't like chuck them at any cars or anything like that. They, they, I don't know. So I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of all this was, but the only thing that I could conclude from this is that he wanted to see a reckless golfing three. <laughs> it's a sign from somewhere, dude. <laughs> dude, he just really wanted another golfing video. He knows we suck and uh, we could use the balls. People are so weird, dude. Like last week, some dude taped the, his mixtape to the door and then just dipped too. Dude, maybe he's mad because we didn't plug his mixtape. That's who it was. Oh. We're upgrading our security cameras today. So next time any of you guys think you're going to come in here and punk us or gift us golf balls, we'll have your license plate and your face. We're gonna have like some telescope stuff, like some NASA grade security cameras. Very sus that we're literally planning to do this golf bit and then they fucking dump a ton of golf balls I know. in our driveway. Probably just found them all in the pond. Took all the Pro V ones out and dumped us these shitty things. <laughs> this no. guy. I was like, Ken just broke his neck and you're gonna fucking do this to us? <laughs> like straight <laughs> up, dude. We're kinda at a low right yeah, now. Yeah, you're doing this? <laughs> With those shoes, he could do it. I don't see the problem. Okay, we're going golfing and uh, we're gonna do a little outfit shopping beforehand. You know, get in character. I think we're ready for sports. <laughs> you look normal, Ryan. You dress for the wrong sport. Everything we do, Ryan looks like he's dressed to go and do his frat. Who would wear this? I mean, you! Do these shorts look normal length, CJ? Oh my gosh. Because I like have to skirt. pull them away. <laughs> 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 it kind of floats around, it looks like a skirt. Wait! <laughs> 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 I might as well just take these. <laughs> I can't tell if Evan's about to go play basketball or tennis. <laughs> that was a pretty clean fade jumper, dude. <laughs> All right guys, Reckless Golfing 3.0. Quite possibly the best day of the year. One of our favorite videos to film. It's like a national holiday for it us. Yeah, pretty here. much is. So Ev didn't have any clubs, so he went and picked them up. This set of uh, junior clubs. Ev, you know, don't say we never did anything for you. Well, it's nice short straps. Back to run with it. <laughs> so we got our trusty old Steed from last year that we ended up acquiring. We found out that golf carts are basically just glorified wrecking balls. This thing has taken so much abuse and it keeps on trucking. Like, it's truly incredible. Keep it easy, keep it easy. Usually you gotta stay under the radar until we're away from the first tee box. And then after that, you can kind of ramp it up a little bit, but till that point, you gotta stay hush hush. Yeah, straight A student, but I'm friends with a cool kid. Following the rules in the rubric. Freestyle on the bus and it's too lit. Everybody like, hold oh, down, who's this? Who's this? Raising the stakes like Roos Chris. Clockwork, high shine like Kubrick. Y'all heard what you got with the music. Think that it's hot, but it's not like mucus. <laughs> Kevin's golf name, White Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mic's up. I don't know where you gotta get, but get your shields out. The worst thing is I can't even tell you where it's safe. Oh, oh, <laughs> so we golf once a year, and unfortunately, Mike is actually getting better. And it honestly makes Ben very upset. He's like, this is not as fun to watch. And I'm like, no, I it get isn't. it. This is too reckless. It's just getting started. I don't know if I was built for this. If anyone was built for this, it was you. Get back! Straight A student, but I'm friends with a cool kid. Following the rules and the rubric. We stop on the bus and it's too late. Everybody in the whole damn I'm not a slow! I love reckless golfing so much! Shine like Kubrick. Y'all heard what you got with the music. Think that it's hot, but it's not like me. 
<laughs> was that you? You little weasel. Five figures this week, no show yet. Yeah, I do it all from my home setup. Well, turn a TikTok to a Rolex. And it got more views. Hey, you gotta be ready for that. Money streams because I own it. Can't exploit me because I know better. Work smarter, not harder, I know this. But I still do both, I'm a go-getter. Go scroll back on the gram, you can see just how I did it. It's an overnight, I've been at it for a minute. World gave me lemons and I turn it into lemonade. Got a juice and I made a brand off of it like a minute made. You don't want to ride with them anymore? No, I don't trust any of these guys. No, you f <laughs> It's too early. I know. It's too early for that. Ryan! <laughs> I knew it oh. was. <laughs> I feel like I initiated that and all I wanted to do was wash my hands in the pond. Before I know it, I got three guys running at me full blow. Dude, the terrain on this golf course is seriously magical. Check out these retaining walls. The double decker. Might be landable. Oh, that's 100% landable. Ah, yes! <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm signing off. He lost the whole crisper in the fairway. <laughs> Bro. My crisper. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You did so good, buddy. Thanks, Mike. There's a lot going from a legend. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding. Oh, that was pure magic. That's something I do. I've been rolling around. I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been. Hi. So I have gotten calls that you guys are misusing carts on the course. My manager does know, and he's going to be here in a half hour. And if you're still here by that time, he's calling the cops. Understand. Um, I just want to let you guys know, just because we've had two calls now, I have to pick you guys up. Got it. Okay, thank, thank you guys. You. Kicked off. All right. What the fuck are you doing? Ball? She's the lunatic driving down the middle of the fairway. She could get hit. <laughs> Dude, she's been the nicest one here today. She's been the nicest. What were you nicest? Did she just threatened the, the police? Oh, she... the manager did. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, we're rolling. I always said Reckless Golfing 3 was going to get the cops called. And so I feel far, like we so didn't good. even get started, quite frankly. Like, it was, like, pretty light. All right, we just kind of officially got kicked off this golf course. This is the most fun I've had golfing, slash reckless golfing, probably ever. And we're getting kicked off now. We're on our glory ride out. This is like top golf, but you don't get kicked out when you hit him. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Did I hit Mike? <laughs> I just want to smoke Mike. Oh! You can get him like a deer with a broadside.
Wow, they really went for that. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, you know, this is great. Alright guys, me and CJ are just rolling up to Heydays, which is like a snowmobile show in the middle of a field that 50,000 people go to to like kick off winter. We've been going here for the past like five years. Holy shit, I'm getting passed by a BMW mob van right now. No? Wow. We're gonna be meeting up with the rest of the other guys. They went down last night, Ben and I had to edit so we stayed back, but they set up camp, our booth and everything, so I guess we'll be seeing it at the same time that you guys get to see it. Alright, here's Ryan. Oh my god. It's muddy. What was he supposed to be as a part of the show? Yeah, that's like a part of the booth that's not coming out until something. You know where you're at? Do you know where he's at? He's, yeah, they're with him. Okay, walk him there. Okay, I will. Davey? What up? What's up, dude? Hi, friends. Okay, is oh, this god. your 4x4? Uh -huh. Can you put it in 4x4? It's in it right now. Hey, All right, where are we going? Men's? Hey, go to no, my sister actually let me use it this weekend. What up, boys? What up? Look at this thing in the mud. Yeah, <laughs> she's in her element. She's all-wheel drive for a reason. We're gonna go park and then let's crank some brews. Good job on the booth, boys. That's why you show up late, because then you don't have to do anything. Yeah, no, it looks good. Go get how many people are out here. Hold on. There's so many people. If she wants to know if she needs to dump water on Mike to wake him up. That's what we're about to go do. We're going to go cheese him. Oh, hell yeah. I'll bring the whole pack. You might not wake on the first one. <laughs> you just got cheesed. <laughs> <laughs> we got some people out there already. I'm not surprised, dude. Oh, actually, we were thinking about inviting like 30 of them in here, but we didn't know if Tint's floor could support it. And that's saying something because we know Tint's had some heavies in here. <laughs> <laughs> so Chase and I were running the swaps last night. We found these three wheelers. That's what drug us to the swap right. spot. And then they have a Harley. And they're like, you guys need a Harley in your video. And I'm like, yeah, 3,500 bucks, raised bars. We have to go buy it right now. Let's go kick him in the nuts. All right, we're deep into the swaps. Those three are so trying to track right this down thing down. Get your money out. Nice hat. Thank you. There's a spark car for sale. Here. We're, we're, we're looking for a Harley. Do they still have it? There he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. They brought the cash. Dude, it's even cooler in the sunlight, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, actually, CJ. No front brake? He's not gonna let us just drive. No cut right now. No, what? What are you selling us? Get ready. Get us. <laughs> actually really fast. What's up with this open plug here? What's this supposed to be plugged into? Ah, uh, the blinkers. No blinkers, no front brake. It's your call, Ev. I think Harley Mike has to make the call. Tint, give him the cash, dude. We gotta beat it back to the booth. You got no you blame the close one. It looks way, bro. Ken, why don't you sign it a little better? <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's on forever. Yeah. It is. I don't think he went and got it and came back. It was like 15 minutes. The dedication. That might be the most reckless thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so to put some context to this, we ran 
basically like an eight hour long giveaway of this pit bike right here. Anyone that came and bought merch got entered to win it and uh, we're just about to announce the winner. And hopefully they're in the crowd somewhere because we told everyone to come back at five o'clock. Hey, who wants some free stuff? Guys, day two of heydays. Yesterday was absolutely insane. That was easily like the most amount of people that we've ever stood up in front of, which is crazy because we make these videos for like a million people every week. But when you have like 500 people standing in front of you, it's like a lot more of a surreal moment. I don't know if you guys were there. Thank you so much. Uh, but. I want to mention a word from today's sponsor, EcoFlow, real quick, because we've actually been running our entire booth off of this thing, so it's a perfect integration to tell you guys about it today. So the EcoFlow is a capacity of one to three kilowatt hours, expandable up to 2,048 watt hours with the Delta II extra batteries, or 3,040 watt hours with the Delta Max extra battery. You can plug 15 devices into it, so we've ran our iPads, our music, all of our lights off of it, and I think it's been running our booth for like 30 straight hours. You might be wondering, why don't you just use a generator? Quite frankly, it's it's a lot better. It's a lot smaller, it's quiet, not expensive for gas, and uh, it's the future, baby. It even uses a Tesla battery. Does it? Yeah. I know Ken would love this thing. So like I said, we've been running the iPads, the lights, the music, all off of this thing, and right now, we're gonna use it to make some breakfast. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. What's up, boys? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Man, Slim, the touch. It's all about the love. Like everything in the future, this thing's got its own app, and on the app, it'll tell you exactly how much output it's doing right now and how much longer it thinks that it can go for. The other nice thing about this battery is that it charges from zero to 80% in 50 minutes, which is extremely fast. Does your generator have an app? I guarantee it doesn't. Kane's toilet has an app, though. He has the like Bluetooth thing to warm it up. All right, I'm gonna let this thing cool down, but you can also charge this thing from AC, DC, or solar power. All right, guys, so take your power anywhere with the EcoFlow. Head to the link in our description and check out the EcoFlow Delta II. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video, helping Slim make this amazing breakfast, and uh, keeping the booth running smoothly all weekend. All right, guys, so about a month ago, we ran a giveaway with the CRF250 and the CRF110. There's gonna be one winner. We finally got the name back. So we're gonna give them a FaceTime call and let them know that they just won two new bikes. All right, the winner of this beautiful pair of dirt bikes goes to Caleb Cunningham of Joplin, Missouri. Joplin, Missouri. Congrats, Caleb. Hello. What up, is this Caleb? You bet. All right, well this is uh, the Sea Boys calling to let you know that you won the 250 and the 110. Are you serious? <laughs> For real, bro. For real, you won the dirt bikes. There we go. Congrats on the bikes, dude. Thanks, guys. Dude, you're looking good. Is that a mullet? You bet, guys. I love it. <laughs> you I love bet. It. You got a place to ride these things? Oh, yeah. We got all over. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I'll call you in a little bit and let you know the rest of the details, but congratulations again on winning Thank these you. bikes. Sounds good. See you, bro. I swear, one of these times, they're going to be excited. <laughs> all right, congrats, Caleb. Congrats, Mason. Three dirt bikes and one video. That's, that's a new oh, record. Yeah. <laughs> 